Hi everyone, Ashley Davis here, developer of Dataforge Notebook. Just a quick video update to show you new features going into Dataforge Notebook. This time I'm showing you the export to Markdown feature that has gone in recently. This is a new example notebook that I'm working on. It demonstrates how to backtest a quantitative trading strategy in JavaScript. This example will soon be included with Dataforge Notebook, and in the coming weeks you can expect a blog post and another video related to this example notebook. Let's say I've created my notebook, I've written some code and I've tested it, I've produced some visualizations as you can see here. Now I want to get my code out of here and use it for some other purpose. I might want to use it in a production application, or I might want to display these visualizations that I've produced on my blog. Let's take a look at the options we get with Dataforge Notebook for exporting our notebook. If I open the export menu here, you'll see all the options you have. In terms of code, we can export to a single runnable JavaScript file, or we can export a complete and runnable Node.js project. We can also export to PNG, PDF, and a web page. I've covered all these options in earlier videos. What I'm showing you today is the new export to markdown feature. So now I'm going to actually export this notebook to markdown format. Choose the directory to export to. Now we've got to wait a moment while it renders the charts and it renders the data. When the export is completed, I'll get a notification indicating that it was successful. I click on the notification. It opens the directory of the export. You can see here that we've got an exported markdown file. We also have an images subdirectory. You can see that these are charts and other visualized data that was exported from our notebook. Now let's have a look at the markdown file. I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. You can see that we've got a markdown file here. Visual Studio Code has a nice markdown preview mode, so we can see the, uh, the markdown format side by side with the rendered format. You can get an idea of what this might look like um, if you were to put it on your blog um, or on GitHub or something like that. I've actually up uploaded this notebook to GitHub GIST, so you can see what it looks like rendered uh, as a GIST. So you can see we've got the nicely formatted notebook. Uh, we've got your preview of data, visualizations. Many blogs also support Markdown. So this is a, a demonstration of what this notebook uh, might look like if you had added it to your blog as well. So that's it. I've shown you the new export to Markdown feature in Dataforge Notebook. To register your interest in Dataforge Notebook, please head over to www.dataforgenotebook.com and sign up. Thanks for listening.